Namaskaram students. Under gaseous state, we are going to study now Andrews isotherm. Definition for critical temperature, critical pressure, critical value. Derivation of critical value, critical pressure and critical temperature from Van der Waals equation, Joule-Thomson effect and methods of lification of gases. Rest of the lesson in PPT. Andrews isotherm. What is isotherm means? Iso means same. Therm means temperature. So same temperature we are going to vary a volume and pressure. Now see the graph. In the first graph, the orange color line. Here we are going to take the carbon dioxide gas. Slowly we are decreasing the volume. You focus on the A, B line. Here the volume is decreases. The carbon dioxide is at the gaseous level. Afterward, the B to C, we get the flat region. In that flat region, the pressure is constant value. In that stage, gas is um, obtaining as well as liquid state also obtaining. That is C point, um, the C point to afterward the C point, the pressure is increases. Here, the carbon dioxide gas at the liquid state only, there is no gaseous state. So this is obtaining at the temperature 13 degrees Celsius. If you slowly increase the temperature 13 degrees Celsius to 21 degrees Celsius, at this uh, temperature 21 degrees Celsius, there is also a flat region B dash to C dash and A dash to B dash, the carbon dioxide is a gaseous level. Um, when you decrease the volume, then there is a uh, pressure constant flatter region b dash to c dash here gas is to gas is state as well as liquid state is obtaining after c dash uh, when the pressure is increases the carbon dioxide is we are obtaining only liquid state then slowly move on to another uh, line that is blue color line we are increasing the temperature 31 degrees celsius here we get we, we don't get the flatter region there is only one point at this point the gas carbon dioxide gas so, uh, suddenly change direction to liquid afterward if you increase the uh, afterward we are getting some to isotherm 35.5 degrees celsius and 48 degrees celsius here the carbon dioxide gas whatever pressure increases there is uh, no changes carbon dioxide gas is never changed into liquid so we are uh, from this ga graph we are come to conclude that uh, uh, carbon dioxide critical temperature is 31.1 degree Celsius that is called as lification temperature at this point the pressure is 73 atmosphere but we uh, we draw a only a rough graph in but absolute graph we can get the pressure 73 atmosphere in this temperature the carbon dioxide above this temperature that is 31.1 degree Celsius the carbon dioxide remains as a GAD at all pressure value this can be proved for many real gases behave in a similar manner to carbon dioxide gas. So far we learned isotherm and isotherm for carbon dioxide. For carbon dioxide we want to liquefy means the critical temperature for carbon dioxide is 31.1 degree Celsius. Above the temperature whatever pressure increases the carbon dioxide never changed into liquid. So we are, from that we are going to define the critical temperature is it is defined as temperature above which cannot be liquefied even at high pressure. For example, in carbon dioxide, the above 31 degree Celsius, um, for example, 34 degree or 48 degree Celsius, you refer the graph, there is no liquefaction obtained even though the temperature is increases. The next one, critical pressure. Definition for critical pressure is, it is defined as the minimum pressure required to liquefy one mole of gas at its critical temperature. The gas should be a one mole and the temperature should uh, the temperature of the gas should be a critical temperature. Then only the minimum pressure required is called as critical pressure. The next one is definition for critical volume. It is defined as volume occupied by one mole of gas at its critical temperature and critical pressure. That is, the gas should be a one mole and that gas in the critical temperature and also the temp pressure of the gas should be a critical pressure. Then only the volume occupied by the gas is called as critical volume.
let's we see the definition for joule thomson effect before going to the effect now see the diagram in this diagram um, a container containing gas in that container the pressure of the gas is high so what is the relationship between pressure and volume is when the pressure is high means the volume is low in the container the volume of gas is very low now we have put one hole that hole is called a small hole is called as orifice plug in that uh, hole automatically the gas is coming out and slowly is expand expand means from uh, in the inside the container the volume of gas is low when it come outside automatically the gas uh, volume is increases when the gas increases the volume is increases means automatically the pressure is into go into the lower level now the gas automatically from the high pressure to low pressure that is called as adiabatic adiabatical what is adiabatical means automatically it changes from the high pressure region to low pressure region so at this level we get uh, lower in temperature lower in temperature means we feel some cool that is called as cooling cooling so we get the cooling effect from this uh, orifice that is orifice plug or small hole so joule thomson connected what is that it is a phenomenon lowering of temperature when the gas made into expand adiabatically from a region of high pressure to low pressure region that is called as joule thomson effect but this effect is absorbed only at certain temperature below certain temperature that is a characteristic of each gas we can um, obtain this effect in all temperature below some certain temperature for each gas so that is called as joule thomson effect next one inversion temperature that it is a temperature below which gas obeys the joule thomson effect temperature below the temperature level which obeys the joule thomson effect is called as inversion temperature formula for inversion temperature is ti is equal to 2a by rb the uh, joule thomson effect is effectively used for oxygen helium gas nitrogen gas and hydrogen gas because they have very low critical temperature please don't confuse with the critical temperature and inversion temperature critical temperature is different one and inversion temperature is different one please refer the definition of critical temperature and inversion temperature now at inversion temperature if you use the uh, inversion temperature um, joule thomson effect there is no rise or fall in temperature that that is if you expand the gas at inversion temperature means there is no cooling or no or not um, high in the temperature is obtained but above the inversion temperature if you expand the gas the gas is get heated up even though through the fold the next one we are going to uh, liquefy the gases by using three methods one is lindes method in this lindes method we are using only joule thomson effect to cool the air then only we get the liquid air the next one like the gladis method in this gladis method we are using joule thomson effect as well as mechanical work of expansion that is mechanically we expand the gases so that if the gas expand expanded in the mechanical work as well as in the joule thomson work so that it is very easily cooled and then we get the liquefied gas very easily then third one adiabatic process in this adiabatic process the gas what what gases we are using that gas is placed between the magnetic material what magnetic material we are using here means gadolinium sulfate and then the uh, ma magnetic property of ma magnetic material is removed if you remove means the gas is molecule the arrangement is somewhat changes they are come closer and they become as a liquid very easily but it is not obtained in one or single step again and again you are changing the magnetic property of the magnetic material then only we can uh, change the gas into liquid uh, here the temperature is come to 10 power minus 4 kelvin we can use 
uh, the cooling effect up to 10 power minus 4 kelvin that is as low as 0 kelvin can be achieved by this adiabatic process. Now we are going to see the derivation of critical constants from Van der Waals equation. We already know the Van der Waals equation for n moles p plus a n squared by b squared into v minus n b equal to n naught t. This equation for n moles of gas. Now we are going to write for one mole of gas. Put n value 1. So we get p plus n value 1 means a by b squared. Here n value 1 means v minus b and here also n value 1 so we get rt. So now the equation becomes 6.23. Now each pressure term we are going to multiply with the each value term here. So first p is multiplied with b we get p and a by b square multiplied with b we get a by b squared into p and once again the pressure is multiplied with the minus b so that minus p. Again a by b squared is multiplied with minus b, we get minus a by b squared into p and equal to rt. Now the p v is the same way p v. Here the v and b are cancelled to each other. The v and b are cancelled with each other so that we are getting a by b and minus p v and here a b divided by b squared. Then RT term come to this side so that we are put minus RT equal to 0. This equation is 6.24. Now we are going to add V squared by P with the 6.24. Just so we are going to add, v, uh, multiply, not add, multiply V squared by P. The whole term I am going to write PV plus A, A by B and minus PV minus AB by V squared minus RT equal to 0. Just to multiply with each term, V squared by P into P, P V, so cancel P, P. Next one, V squared by P with to multiply with the A, V. Here, V, 1, V and then this V will cancel each other. And the minus P, V multiply with the V squared by P. Here, P and P are cancel with each other. Once again, the V squared by P is multiplied with the a b by b squared. So b squared b squared cancel with each other. Answer the last one. The b squared by p is multiplied with the minus r t. So that we are getting minus r t b squared by p equal to 0. I write this equation once again there. So this is the equation now becomes 6.25. See that b q plus a b a b by p minus b b c b square minus a b by p minus rt v squared by p equal to 0. This is equation 6.25. Now I am arranging the, the v value in the powers of v. That is vq first I am going to write. After work, v squared we are decreasing the powers 3 to 2. So v squared after that v squared where are they? The here also one v squared and there one v squared. So minus v and then the minus rt by p. And after work, from v squared to v. That the power is decreases to V. So V into V term is here. So A by P. I am writing V into A by P minus and then we have one more term that is constant term minus A P by P equal to 0. Once again I am writing this equation. Here the V square inside the square bracket minus is there. So I am taking this minus sign outside. So we get V Q minus V square inside the term it is become as positive so p b plus r t by p plus v into a b by p minus a b by p equal to 0 this is equation 6.26 we solving this equation gives a power of 3 so that the equation gives 3 answers the equation is power of 3 means we get 3 answers so keep it this equation as it is now at critical point the temperature is critical temperature. At critical point, temperature is critical temperature. Then pressure is pressure is a critical pressure. So both the temperature and pressure are critical means the volume also become as critical value. Value is become as critical value. Now we are going to take this equation alone. I am going to uh, taking the PC value in left hand side. 
So V minus V is equal to 0. Uh, we compare with the equation 6.26. This having how many powers? 3 powers. So, so that I am going to change this equation also power 3. So that I multiply the, I give the whole power 3. So V minus Vc whole power 3 equal to 0. We are going to expand this equation. See that first of all the V having V3. That is power of 3. The next term, the power of 3 is reduced to V square. And next one, the V power is reduced to V. That is 3, 2, 1. Afterward, there is no V term. It is VC term goes. It is not v, v term. There is no V term. Here also, then uh, you are uh, going to right hand side to left hand side. We see that VC term, it having 3 power. And V C term here 2 power. Here V C term having 1 power. There is no V C term. So it is a cubic equation. So that we have put number 3. Here we are getting negative value. Why we are getting negative value means because of V C value is negative. So that multiply with V C we get negative value here. Then here positive value because the V C value is now squared. So squared means minus into minus it gives positive value. Here also we are including the th 3 number. It is a formula of those. No, so we have to memorize this formula. And here we are getting negative value. Why we are getting negative value means the VC term having negative 1. So 3 times you are multiplying the negative means minus into minus plus plus into minus and second we are getting negative value here. So this is the equation 6.27. Now I am going to write the equation 6.26 by substituting the temperature as a Tc and pressure as a Pc value. Afterward, we are going to compare the both the equation. Here V cube and V cube both are same. Here, uh, so these are both both the same means the consequent terms also same one. So I am going to equalize this term and this term. Once again, I write the so, I am writing the these two alone. So, minus minus cancel with each other and V squared and V squared also cancel with each other. We get the equation 3VC equal to RTC by PC plus B. This is equation 6.2. Now, see that another term, this term 3V VC squared, it is equalized by this term because it consists of V term. So, that I am equalized these two terms. I am writing that. 3V Vc squared equal to AV by PV, PC that I am cancelizing the V value and V value so that we get 3Vc squared equal to A by PC. Now another term minus Vc cube and here the constant term minus AB by PC equalizing these two we get it minus Vc cube my equal to minus AB cancelize the minus alone we get Vc cube equal to AB by PC this is equation 6.30 now we are going to divide this 6.30 equation by equation 6.29 refer the equation Vc cube divided by 3 Vc square is equal to AB by PC divided by A by PC that is 3 Vc square value is this AB by PC now PC, PC cancel and then A and A and cancel. Here this term is having 2 power and this having 3 power. So we reduce 2 power here. We get VC and then VC divided by 3. Here all the terms are cancelled uh, except the P value. So we get P, P value. Now crisscrossing this one, VC value we get it as VC equal to 3P. This is equation 6.31. Substituting 6.31 in 6.29, 6.29 we get 3 Vc squared equal to A by Pc. Now Vc value we need so that I put the Pc value here and 3 Vc squared here. And then Vc value we know very well from the equation 6.31. What is the Vc value? 3 B. Put the 3 B there. So 3 B squared means 9 B squared. 9 into 3, 27 b squared here. So, PC value now A divided by 27 b squared. This is equation 6.32. Now, we are going to substitute the 6.31, 6.32. What is 6.31 means? PC value. 6.32 means PC 
value in equation 6.28 to get the TC value. Now I am writing the equation 6.28 here. 3VC equal to RTC by TC plus B. And BC value we know 3B. And TC value A by 27B squared substituting this value. Afterward, the, I am going to multiply 3 into 3, 9. So 9B here. I changing this B term in this left hand side. So 9B minus B we get 8B. And then the 27B squared it is here uh, below the denominator. So below the denominator means it automatically goes to numerator. So numerator means the RTC 27B squared divided by A. Afterward the B value B value cancel with the each other. So that now uh, we are going to write the DC value. DC value means the A go to this term. So 8A and remaining things 27 or B goes to denominator. So we get the DC value 8A divided by 27 or B. Now we derived PC, VC and TC. From the equation 6.1 we know VC term is equal to 3B. What is B means Van der Waals constant. So we need the Van der Waals constant means just uh, you take the B value and 3 alone we get uh, this person we get VC by 3. So this is the B value. Then equation 6.29 from the equation 6.29 is here. 3VC squared equal to A by BC. Here also what is A means it is one of the Van der Waals constant. So we need this Van der Waals constant in just uh, crisscrossing this BC value here. We get 3VC squared into BC. 